We are heavily harassed by the Church of Scientology for practicing our religion outside the auspices of Scientology. It's called the Free Zone. I belong to an organization called International Free Zone Association. And as you can see, we do not believe in disconnection. Ron talks in a policy letter called PTS Type A, I mentioned that, but there's another reference that is called 10 August Bulletin PTS Handling, and he mentions handle or disconnect, which is true. But when he talks about disconnection on that policy, he means using common sense, just like you would get a restraining order from somebody who is trying to harm your expression, or just like the same way you would not talk to a person anymore who is harming you. That is the same thing that he prefers on that 10 August bulletin. In other words, use common sense, use your intelligence, use your judgment, and use your freedom of speech. He doesn't say anywhere that you are to be told who to talk to or who to not talk to. That is not being quote unquote OT or being free. Once a religion starts ordering your life, it's not a religion, it is a cult. And that's why I'm not long, I'm no longer part of the Church of Scientology as it's established. I am now part of the Peace where we don't follow civil rules and where we apply to what it says here, cancellation of discrimination. Could you, what, if you were, were able to talk to some of the people who are still trapped inside the uh, church, what would you say to them today? I already talked to them and they just say, okay, thank you, but I would say to them, do not work or do not be part of a religion that is only taking your money and is not giving you true spiritual freedom and that is controlling your life and that of others. Do not be part of a religion who is considered as a criminal out there in the world and do not belong to a part of a religion that has you to disconnect from family and friends. That's not freedom. And if you were able to talk to David Miscavige today, what would you say? You know, I would like to sit and talk to him and I think I would say to him, why don't you study history and you will see that all those, how do you say, um, uh, tyrants like Hitler, Fidel Castro, Stalin, Lenin, and the kings of Europe, they lost their kingdom and they lost their power because they were tyrants. And that he should study some history and learn about that. I, I don't have anything against him, really. I, um, I believe he was probably abused by his parents and now that reflects in his personality because some of the children, you know, I, I understand they were abused inside, so he's probably one of those. What you're saying to me. So I, I really feel sympathy for him. Is there anything else you'd like to add today? Yes, I would like for everybody to really particularly Scientologists to find the truth for themselves and not follow blindly what other people tell them. So think for yourself. Well, yes, and the other thing is a lot of people ask me why I am here without a mask. Because L. Ron Hubbard on the Code of Honor of a Scientologist, and I'm a Scientologist and I follow the Code of Honor, he says personal integrity is more important than your media life. I'm here for personal integrity and I'm fighting for what I believe in. This. And I wish that Tom Cruise, who is out there, understands that he's being used as a pawn for the Church of Scientology and creating bad relationships out there.